Today we are exploring the complete video game console iceberg. We'll take a look at virtually every console ever produced, from the more commonly known Nintendos and Playstations to some more obscure releases that I bet you've never even heard of. So let's jump right into the water at the top of the iceberg in Tier 1. We'll start things off with the one classic video game console that everyone knows and loves, the Nintendo Entertainment System. The year is 1985. After developing a series of successful arcade games in the early 1980s, Nintendo planned to create a home video game console. Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamauchi called for a simple, cheap console that ran games stored on a cartridge. The Nintendo Entertainment System, more commonly referred to as NES or just Nintendo, is an 8-bit third generation home video game console produced by the Nintendo Corporation of Japan. It was first released in 1983 in Japan as the Family Computer or more commonly known as the Famicom, which we'll get into in the next tier. Released in North America in October of 1985 at a retail price of $89.95, the NES featured a number of groundbreaking games such as Super Mario Bros. and Excitebike, and action-adventure games such as The Legend of Zelda and Metroid. The controller design was reused from Nintendo's Game & Watch portable gaming device. Nintendo released several add-ons such as the Power Glove, the Power Pad, and a light gun called the Zapper for shooting games. Nintendo's design styling for its US release was made deliberately different from that of any other game console at the time, using a VCR style front loading design. This design works well when both the connector and cartridge are new, however inserting a cartridge into the NES, the force bends the contact pin slightly, wearing them out over time. This design was also more prone to interference by dust than any other design. The NES's design problems are only made worse by Nintendo's choice of materials used to make the console and cartridges. The the console's nickel connector springs wear out over time and the brass plated nickel connectors are prone to oxidation. Most players would try to solve these problems by shifting the cartridge side to side inside of the console or by blowing air into their console and cartridges, but in reality this only made the oxidation worse due to moisture and wore out the brass pins faster. In 1993, the console was redesigned to a top-loading design to fix these problems, and as part of the final Nintendo release bundle, the product included the new style NES, or model NES-101, and one redesigned dogbone game controller. This new style NES was produced until it was discontinued in August of 1995. Overall, there were more than 60 million NES consoles sold during its 10-year lifespan, and in 2011, IGN named the Nintendo Entertainment System the greatest video game console of all time. Now let's take a step back from the NES and look at the next console on our list, which has a surprising connection to Nintendo. Sony's first entry into the video game console world, the PlayStation. The PlayStation, commonly known as the PS1, or its codename PSX, is a video game console developed and marketed by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was released in Japan in December of 1994 and in North America, Europe, and Australia in September of 1995. As a fifth generation console, the PlayStation primarily competed with the Nintendo 64 and the Sega Saturn, but it does have a surprising connection with Nintendo. Sony began developing the PlayStation after a failed business venture with Nintendo to create a CD-ROM drive for the Super Nintendo Entertainment Center in the early 1990s. Nintendo had produced floppy disk technology to complement cartridges for the Famicom system and wanted to continue this storage system for the SNES. Since Sony was already contracted to produce the sound processor for the SNES, Nintendo contracted Sony to develop a CD-ROM add-on named SNES CD or the PlayStation. The PlayStation for Nintendo was to be announced at the 1991 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. However, Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamauchi thought the original 1988 contract was unacceptable because it essentially gave Sony control over all games written on the SNES CD-ROM format. He sent the Nintendo of America president a more favorable contract with the Dutch company called Philips, which was Sony's rival. This contract would give Nintendo total control over their licenses on all Philips produced disk drives. Sony's director at the time learned of Nintendo's decision only two days before the CES show was due to begin, and in fact on the first day of the CES, Sony announced their partnership with Nintendo and their new console, the PlayStation. At 9am the next day, 
and what has been called the greatest ever betrayal in the video game industry, Nintendo revealed that it would now work with Philips instead of Sony. Wanting to distance itself from the failed project with Nintendo, Sony initially branded the PlayStation the PlayStation X or PSX. An emphasis on 3D polygon graphics was placed at the forefront of the console's design. The console proved to be popular for its extensive game library, popular franchises, low retail price, and aggressive youth marketing which advertised it as the preferable console for teens and adults. Popular PlayStation franchises included Gran Turismo, Crash Bandicoot, Tomb Raider, and Final Fantasy, all of which had numerous sequels. The PlayStation signals Sony's rise to power in the video game industry. Its use of compact discs brought on the game industry's transition from cartridges to CDs and DVDs. In 2001, Sony released a smaller and cheaper model, the PS1. More than 28 million PS1 units had been sold by the time it was discontinued in March of 2006. Three versions of the PlayStation's controller were released over the console's lifespan. The first controller, the PlayStation controller, was released alongside the PlayStation in December of 1994. It features four individual directional buttons, a pair of shoulder buttons on both sides, start and select buttons in the center, and four face buttons consisting of simple geometric shapes. Rather than using traditional letters or numbers on its buttons, the PlayStation controller used these shapes which would become iconic to the PlayStation brand. The increasing popularity of 3D games prompted Sony to add analog sticks to its controller design to give its users more freedom over their movements in 3D environments. The first official analog controller, the Dual Analog Controller, was revealed at the 1996 PlayStation Expo in Japan. And in November of 1997, Sony introduced the DualShock controller, which gets its name from its two vibrating motors. Sony released a series of accessories to add extra functionality to the PlayStation, including memory cards, the PlayStation mouse, a four-player link cable, the multiplayer adapter, the memory drive for 3.5-inch floppy disks, and the GunCon light gun. A total of 3,061 PlayStation games have been released worldwide since its release. The PlayStation's best-selling game is Gran Turismo, released in 1997, which sold more than 10 million copies. The Sony PlayStation was discontinued in 2006 with a total of 962 million copies sold worldwide. With the success of the PlayStation 1, Sony decided there was only one thing to do. Make an even better version, the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2, more commonly called the PS2, was first released in Japan in March of 2000 and the rest of the world later that year. It's the successor to the original PlayStation as well as the second installment in the PlayStation brand of consoles. It's a sixth generation console and competed with Nintendo's GameCube and Microsoft's Xbox. Sony began development for the PlayStation 2 shortly after the release of the PlayStation 1 in 1994 and unveiled it at the Tokyo Game Show in September of 1999. The new PlayStation was being developed to have backwards compatibility with the original PlayStation games, a built-in DVD player, and internet connectivity. The success of the PS2 at the end of 2000 caused Sega problems both financially and competitively, and Sega announced the discontinuation of the Dreamcast in March 2001. The PlayStation 2 was such a powerful console, it essentially put Sega out of the video game business. With one of its biggest competitors out of the way, in May of 2002, Sony cut the price of the console from $299 to $199 in the US, making it the same price as the GameCube and $100 less than the Xbox. Unlike Sega's Dreamcast, Sony originally put very little emphasis on online gaming during its first few years, although that changed with the launch of the online-capable Xbox. Coinciding with the release of Xbox Live, Sony released the PlayStation Network adapter in late 2002. In 2004, in time for the launch of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Sony released a smaller, lighter version of the console known as the PS2 Slim. Compared to its predecessor, the Slim line was much smaller, thinner, quieter, and also included a built-in Ethernet port. Even after the release of the PlayStation 3, the PS2 remained popular well into the seventh generation. It continued to be produced until 2013 when Sony finally announced that it had been discontinued after over 12 years in production and one of the longest lifespans of any video game console. A total of over 4,000 game titles were released over the lifetime of the PS2 with over 1.5 billion copies sold. The last game to be released on the PlayStation 2 is Pro Evolution Soccer 2014, which was released in the UK 
Day in November of 2013. The PS2 is the best selling video game console of all time, having sold over 155 million units worldwide. Now we're going to leave Japan for a bit and head over to the United States, where the Microsoft Corporation was developing the first video game console produced in America, the Xbox. The original Xbox was manufactured by Microsoft and released in November of 2001. It was the first video game console offered by an American company since the Atari Jaguar stopped sales in 1996. It's classified as a 6th generation console and was competing directly with Sony's PlayStation 2 and Nintendo's GameCube. With the release of the PlayStation 2 which featured the ability to play back CD-ROMs and DVDs in addition to playing games, Microsoft became concerned that game consoles would threaten the personal computer market as an entertainment device. So in 1998, engineers started designing a video game console of their own. That's fascinating. Whereas most game consoles to that point were built from custom hardware components, the Xbox was built around standard personal computer components, using variations of Microsoft Windows and DirectX as its operating system to support games and media playback. It featured a 733 MHz Intel Pentium 3 CPU and a 233 MHz NVIDIA GeForce 3 based GPU, making the Xbox more powerful compared to its rivals. The Xbox was the first console to feature a built-in hard drive and was also built with direct support for broadband connectivity to the internet. And with the release of Xbox Live a year after the console's launch, Microsoft gained an early foothold into online gaming. The Xbox went on to sell over 24 million consoles by the end of its production. The popularity of great game titles such as Halo 2, which became the biggest selling release in history, making over $125 million in its first day, contributed to the popularity of online console gaming, in particular, first-person shooters. The last game released on the original Xbox was Madden NFL 2009, on August 12th of 2008. Since we're already talking about the original Xbox, let's go ahead and talk about its predecessor, the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 was released as the successor of the original Xbox in November of 2005, competing with Sony's PlayStation 3 and Nintendo's Wii as part of the seventh generation of video game consoles. There was so much hype leading up to the initial launch of the Xbox 360 that it sold out completely when it was released in every region. The Xbox 360 expanded on its already popular Xbox Live service, adding the ability to stream multimedia content from PCs, as well as the ability to purchase and stream music, TV shows, and movies through the Xbox Music and Video Services app. While there had been wireless controllers experimented in the past with RF technology, the Xbox 360 was the first ever video game system to include a Bluetooth wireless controller with the console and not sold as an aftermarket accessory. There was a huge aftermarket accessory market for the Xbox 360 with tons of Microsoft and third party accessories available like guitars, game pads, music turntables, racing wheels, and a lot more. Two major revisions of the Xbox 360 were released following the initial launch. The Xbox 360S, usually referred to as the Xbox Slim, launched in 2010 and featured the same core hardware but with a slimmer form factor and a smaller sized 250 gig hard drive. It also added an integrated Wi-Fi adapter, optical audio output, 5 USB 2.0 ports compared to the 3 from older versions, and a special port designed for the new Microsoft Kinect peripheral. The second major revision of the Xbox 360 was the Xbox 360E released in 2013. It featured a case style similar to the upcoming Xbox One and eliminated one USB port and the RCA style component and S video connections, but otherwise shared the same specifications as the Xbox 360S. The most popular game title sold on the Xbox 360 was Grand Theft Auto V, which sold about 23 million copies. Microsoft ended production of the Xbox 360 in 2016 with over 85 million units sold worldwide. All right, that's enough about Xbox, so let's head back to Japan and talk about Nintendo's next offering in the video game console market, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System, more commonly shortened to Super Nintendo, Super NES, or SNES, is a 16-bit video game console developed by Nintendo that was first released in Japan in 1990 and then in North America in 1991. In Japan, it's known as the Super Famicom System. Nintendo released the SNES in America at a price of $199. It launched with very few games, but these games were well received and didn't seem to hurt sales. 
In Japan, only two games were initially available, Super Mario World and F-Zero. In North America, Super Mario World was launched as a bundle with the console, and other launch games included F-Zero, Pilot Wings, and SimCity. The rivalry between Nintendo and Sega was described as one of the most notable console wars in video game history. Sega portrayed the Genesis as the cool console, with games aimed at older audiences and its aggressive advertisements often attacked its competition. Nintendo, however, had an early advantage by securing the first console version of Capcom's arcade hit Street Fighter II, while this took more than a year to make it to the Sega Genesis. Other popular arcade game conversions, as well as Donkey Kong Country, is said to have helped establish the Super Nintendo in the video game market in the latter years of the 16-bit generation, and maintain competitive sales against the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. In 1997, Nintendo decided they wanted to offer an SNES console at a lower price point, so they redesigned the Super Nintendo, giving it a smaller, more sleek design and designating the model number SNES-101. This new console was sold for $99 compared to the original price of $199. In order to get the price down, Nintendo removed a few features on the SNES such as the expansion port on the bottom, the LED power light, the eject button, and the built-in RF modulator. According to Nintendo of America, the company has sold more than 20 million Super Nintendo units in the US. Okay, we've got Nintendo out of the way for now, so let's look at the newest generation of Sony's consoles, the PlayStation 3, 4, and 5. First released in November of 2006 in Japan, the PlayStation 3, better known as the PS3, is a 7th generation gaming console from Sony. It competed with the Microsoft Xbox 360 and the Nintendo Wii and had a price of $599 at launch. The PS3 is the first console in the series to introduce the use of motion sensing technology through its 6-axis wireless controller. The console also incorporates a Blu-ray disc player and features high-definition resolution. The PS3 was originally offered with either a 20GB or 60GB hard drive, but over the years its capacity has increased in increments available up to 500GB. Like its predecessors, the PlayStation 3 was re-released in 2009 as a slim model. The redesigned model is 33% smaller, 36% lighter, and consumes 35-45% to less power than previous models. Then again in 2012, Sony revealed a newer, super slim PlayStation 3. The new console featured a completely redesigned case that had a sliding door covering the disk drive, which had been moved to the top of the console. Grand Theft Auto V is the best-selling PlayStation 3 game of all time, with over 15 million copies sold, and as of March of 2017, over 87 million PS3s had been sold worldwide. The 8th generation system, the PlayStation 4, or PS4 for short, first launched in November of 2013 with a price of $399 and introduced the x86 architecture to the PlayStation series. Among the new applications and services, Sony introduced the PlayStation app allowing PS4 owners to turn smartphones and tablets into a second screen to enhance gameplay. Sony also introduced the PlayStation Now game streaming service. Three years later in September of 2016, a PlayStation 4 Slim model was unveiled. The new casing is 40% smaller and carries a rounded body with a matte finish on top of the console rather than a two-tone finish. It came with a 500 gig internal hard drive at the same price point as the original PS4 model. The best-selling PS4 game to date is Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, with over 15 million copies sold. As of March 2022, over 117 million PlayStation 4s have been sold worldwide. The PlayStation 5, or PS5, was released worldwide in November of 2020 with a price of $599 alongside the Xbox Series X and the Series S, released the same month. It's part of the ninth generation of video game consoles. The console uses an 8-core, 16-thread CPU based on AMD's Zen 2 microarchitecture. The graphics processor is a custom variant of AMD's Navi family using the RDNA microarchitecture which includes support for hardware acceleration and real-time ray tracing, as well as support for 8K graphics. The system's new controller, the DualSense, has adaptive triggers that can change the resistance to the player as necessary during such actions as operating automobile accelerator and brake pedals or pulling the string on a bow to shoot an arrow. 
The controller also has a strong haptic feedback system and an improved controller speaker intended to give better in-game feedback. The PlayStation 5 features a completely revamped user interface and is backwards compatible with most PlayStation 4 and VR games. There's even rumors of a PS5 Slim version coming out next year in 2023, so if you're watching this in the future, let me know in the comments if it looks like the one here. Now that we've got Sony out of the way for now, let's talk about their biggest competitor in the video game market, the Xbox One. Microsoft Xbox One was released in November of 2013 in North America and is the successor to the Xbox 360. The Xbox One competes with Sony's PlayStation 4 and 5 and Nintendo's Wii U and Switch as part of the 8th generation of video game consoles. The Xbox One puts its emphasis on internet-based gaming. It includes the ability to record and stream gameplay, and the ability to integrate with your television to watch cable or satellite through the console. It also has a number of apps for a variety of entertainment purposes. Originally, Microsoft bragged about the ability for users to access their game library on any Xbox One console without needing the physical discs, as well as the ability to share their game library with friends and family. However, all games would have to be tied to the user's Xbox Live account, and the console would be required to connect to the internet to play games. After an overwhelmingly negative response from consumers, Microsoft announced that these restrictions would be dropped, and the console would not be required to connect to the internet to perform basic functions. But in reality, with most games requiring regular updates or needing to connect to servers to fetch your user information, an internet connection is still almost always required. In April of 2021, Microsoft did remove the Xbox Live requirements for free-to-play games, so you no longer need to pay a monthly Xbox Live subscription fee to play free-to-play games. In June of 2016, Microsoft announced the Xbox One S at E3 which features a smaller form factor as well as support for 4K video, Ultra HD Blu-ray, and HDR. At E3 2017, Microsoft unveiled the Xbox One X, a higher-end model with improved hardware specifications designed to play games at 4K resolution, and in May of 2019, an all-digital version of the Xbox One S was released, eliminating the use of physical discs completely. Microsoft has stated it will not release sales numbers for the Xbox One console, but sales are estimated to be around 50 million units sold worldwide. The fourth generation of Xbox models, which was released in November of 2020, included the Xbox Series S and Series X, are considered members of the ninth generation of video game consoles and were released to compete directly with the PlayStation 5, which was released the same month. The Xbox Series X and Series S are high and low end versions comparable to the Xbox One X and One S previously mentioned. The Xbox Series X is estimated to be four times as powerful as the Xbox One X, with support for 8K resolution and up to 120 frames per second gameplay. In addition to releasing new games for this new generation of Xbox, both consoles are fully compatible with all Xbox One games and most hardware, as well as all backward compatible games that were playable on the Xbox One from the Xbox 360 and original Xbox library. Currently, the Xbox One game with the most sales is Halo 5 Guardians, with about 10 million copies sold, but with the new era of free-to-play microtransactional games, according to Xbox.com, the most played game on the Xbox One consoles are currently Fortnite and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, that's all of the current Xbox and PlayStation consoles, so let's go back to Nintendo and talk about the last console on Tier 1, the Nintendo Wii. The Wii is a home video game console developed and marketed by Nintendo and released in 2006. It's Nintendo's fifth home game console and is a seventh generation console designed to compete with Microsoft Xbox 360 and Sony PlayStation 3. The primary controller for the Wii is the Wii Remote, a wireless controller with both motion sensing and traditional controls. The Wii was Nintendo's first home console to directly support internet connectivity, supporting both online games and for digital distribution of games and media applications through the Wii Shop channel. The first model of the Wii has Nintendo GameCube memory cards and controller slots to provide backward compatibility. Because of Nintendo's reduced focus on computational power, the Wii and its games were less expensive to produce than its competitors. The Wii was extremely popular at launch, causing the system to be in short supply in most markets. The bundled game Wii Sports was considered the most popular app for the console. Other flagship games included Super Mario, Legends of Zelda, Pokemon, and Metroid. 
Within a year of launch, the Wii became the best-selling 7th generation console, and by 2013 had sold over 100 million units, making it Nintendo's best-selling console until it was surpassed by the Nintendo Switch in 2021. The introduction of motion-controlled games via the Wii Remote led both Microsoft and Sony to develop their own competing products, the Xbox Kinect and the PlayStation Move. However, Nintendo found that while the Wii had broadened the demographics they wanted, the core gaming audience had shunned the Wii, opting to game on more powerful consoles with traditional controllers, and the Wii is generally regarded as a children's gaming console. The Wii Mini is a smaller, redesigned Wii with a top-loading disk drive. In addition to the lack of GameCube support, the Wii Mini removes Wi-Fi support and online connectivity, along with the removal of the SD card slot. It also removed support for 480p and component video output. According to Nintendo, they stripped down these features to bring down the price point of the console even further and make it available to those who could not afford an original Wii. The Wii Mini was first released in December of 2012 in the US at a price of $99 and included the Mario Kart Wii game. While the Nintendo Wii was discontinued in 2013, Nintendo continued to produce and market the Wii Mini until 2017. In 2014, the Wii's Wi-Fi services were disabled and online services were discontinued later in 2019. As of 2022, the Wii is the fifth best-selling home console of all time. And there you have it. That's all for Tier 1 of the Complete Video Game Console Iceberg. If you made it this far, I really do thank you. And if you enjoyed the video, it would be amazing if you took a second to click the like button and subscribe if you want to get notified of new Iceberg videos. Tier 2 will be released shortly and I know you won't want to miss it. Also, let me know in the comments which Tier 1 game console you grew up playing and which one is your favorite of all time. Over the next series of videos, we'll work our way further down the Iceberg until we reach the bottom. I have a lot of new videos in store for you guys to be released every week. And if you have any other Iceberg videos you want to see, let me know in the comments. Again, I thank every one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.